Hello, welcome to Use Photoshop on YouTube. Today we are looking at the Art History Brush tool. Let's go ahead and go to File, Open, and choose a file that we can work with. Now the first thing we want to do is create a layer that we can use the Art History Brush tool with. Um, but before we get into that, let's open up the History window. Go to Window, History, and you'll see the History tool open, or the History window, rather. And it displays everything we've done so far, and as you can see, all, all we have done is open up this image. Next, we will go down here and create a solid color layer. White's fine, press OK. Now we want to rasterize this layer so we can work with it. We'll right click and rasterize layer. Now we can edit this layer. So let's grab the art history brush tool, which is sometimes hiding under the history brush tool. Go ahead and grab the art history brush tool. And let's do a very large brush size. Do a bit bigger than that. A little bit of hardness and we'll change the style to loose curl long. Get this out of the way for a moment. Now what we'll do is uh, select where we want the art history brush tool to restore the image to. Uh, we need to select a source so what we'll do is we'll click on open so you'll see the history brush icon is right next to open and you'll see now when I draw on this, it's picking up some of the colors in our original image. If I continue to do this, it doesn't look like much now, but as we reduce the brush size by either using this menu here or using the left bracket key on your keyboard, you will see we get a bit more definition, but not much. It's hard to tell what the image is. But as we keep reducing the brush size, more detail appears in the image. We can also change the style. Uh, for example, let's change it to loose curl. And you'll see it's a little bit of a different brush. Still not much detail. And we can change it to a tight curl. And you'll see it's almost creating circles now. And as we continue to reduce the brush size, you will see that more and more detail becomes apparent. By reducing it even further, we can start to make out some of the picture below, but it's still pretty hard to see what's going on. Let's reduce it even more, and we can just start to see the man's face in the background. There's his mouth and the rest of his head here. And we can continue to reduce the brush size as well as changing the style to get different looks. If you want to reveal even more detail, change the style to dab. And you'll see now when we go over it, you'll see a lot more detail. Uh, we can reduce the amount of detail. Let's undo that. Make the brush size a bit larger. And now when we use the dab tool, that's a bit too big. If you get it the right size, you can use the dab tool just to reveal just enough detail to make it look natural and bring out the features in the photo. So that's it. That's how you use the art history brush tool. Go ahead and experiment with it. This is obviously a artistic tool that you can use in a variety of ways to enhance your images. So play around with it, experiment with it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching.